Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, let's see here. I should probably cut one of these things down and stick it in there like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, that'll work. Okie dokie. Well, I hope so, because, you know, we've been on 15 minutes and nobody showed up. But anyway, that's the way it goes. Alright, now what I have to do, I have these really cool ruler. I use this more than any other ruler at all. It's a steel mechanical rule uh, for a machinist. And um, so, that is not a quarter of an inch. That is less than a quarter by a thirty-second of an inch. Alright, so what we're going to do right now is less than a quarter. So, that is how wide we need to make that. And uh, what I'm doing right now is, uh, one thing I noticed in the wing, um, in this wing of this A-10. Um, hey, Bert. Nice to see you. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> anyway, these wings, because you'll grab the and pick it up, it's soft, it's squishy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this a uh, little piece inside here glued that will keep that from happening of course if I put the armor on it it'll be stronger twice over but I like making things uh, strong enough to survive for uh, you know years and so that's what I'm doing with this is I'm reinforcing the shell of the A-10 wing And that will go in there just like so. It's like putting a strut into it. All right, now uh, to get the glue to go down inside here, what I do is I'll put a blob of glue on that side of the wing. And then I will go ahead and I will do it again on this side of the wing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in there and run it down in. And run that side down in. Now that I have glue on both sides of this, then I stick it in there and stand it up. All right, now when that dries, what that's doing is that's putting in a rib in the wing section so that it'll make it uh, stronger. Hey, Bert, I sent you an invite into the computer. There you are. Uh, what's up? How you doing, Vi? Good. I'm doing good. Yay. That's good news. I'm working on the A-10 wing. Nice. Yeah. Um, what I found out was I picked it up on the wing, and it was squishy in here, this this part. And so I went, oh, that's not good. <laughs> and so I'm adding some strength to it before I put the armor on. Oh, that's good. Well, at least you caught it. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of aware of little errors that I've done <laughs> in, yeah, in the past. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I try not to make them any more because holy freeholies, they're hard to fix. Yeah, would you know it now and now you're fixing it as you go. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's a good point. Oh. Now, a guy um, that I knew in high school contacted me today on Facebook. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What do you have to say? 
He almost died last month. Oh, that's not good. No, that's not good. And I didn't get to talk much because I had to do the live show. Uh. Well, at least some of your classmates are still around and talking. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Elaine. I'm just really tired of TikTok. Uh -huh. And their shenanigans. Uh, Kinley says, hi, Bert and Viola. <laughs> hi, Kinsley. Well, Kinsley wanted to know if he can come into YouTube. I don't know. That's not under my control. As far as I know, he can't be blocked on YouTube. Supposedly he's blocked on YouTube from what he was telling me. Well, I don't know what to tell him. I don't know if that can even be done. I know you can mute people over there. I don't have access to that. I don't have access to that. I don't have access to it. I'm stuck in a, well, my own channel I can't get on. And I don't know how that happened. I got all the new information. I wrote it down very carefully. So that I wouldn't mess it up. And nothing. It ah, jeez. So I don't know what the deal is. Yep, I like this shirt too, Kinley. It's comfortable. You can't. You have to go to the main site. <laughs> well, this is really cheerful in here. Has anybody got any thoughts on alien activity on the planet Earth? If you do, please uh, say something about it. I'm sure you've all heard my stories. Um, uh, alien abduction? No. Alien encounter? Well, eh, I guess you can call a drive-by an alien encounter because that's what happened to me when I was in uh, uh, 10 years old back in the Kent Valley. Seen a flying uh, object, acted like a helicopter until it took off into space, in the blink of less than an eye. And so, yeah, you're not allowed to talk about it on TikTok. <laughs> Apparently, uh, not allowed to. Uh, CJ's here. Nice to see you, CJ. Uh, not allowed, allowed on TikTok. Yeah, I don't know. I still don't know why I was banned on TikTok. Those fools won't answer anything. So anyway, here we are on YouTube and Clapper. Because TikTok's a mess. Now, why are those not sticking? That just does not make any sense to me whatsoever. Why... Are you not sticking? Huh. Okay, try this again. And hopefully this time it'll stick. Wow. Welcome, Clapperites. 
I hope you have something to say. It would be nice to be able to talk to someone. And uh, any 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 of you got any questions about aliens or World War Three or anything? I'd love to hear your ideas. Hi, CJ. Well, I, I've seen a bunch, CJ, so I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Well, Kenley, I have I have no idea. I don't know how you can be blocked on there. I can't even get into my own account on YouTube, so I can't fix it. Hi, TK. I just didn't go back. <laughs> I'm I'm probably gonna uh, hit him up tomorrow. I just didn't know if the ban was off. Yeah, I, I suppose it was off yesterday. But what I will do, TK, is tomorrow I will jump over to TikTok and I'll see what's going on. I thought it said the seventh. I have no idea, uh, Bert. Maybe it was the seventh. <laughs> it might be the seventh, TK. Oh, Elaine, I did a veggie sandwich today. Actually, pretty. it was really good, too. Um, I, I got stuff out of my garden to make it today. So I got a two-meal deal out of it. I'm going to eat the other half when I'm over the show today. <laughs> I know, TK. Thank you. Oh, isn't that cool, CJ? So, Elaine, it was a very good sandwich. I was very pleased with it. But because I didn't have my other TikTok channel, I couldn't record it. I had to be live over there making it. And so I did a live sandwich build today from 11.30 to 12.30. And uh, tomorrow, I'll probably shoot a video, although I've got a white clapper off the map to do it. Um, uh, shoot a video uh, to post tomorrow. Thank you, Kinley, very much. September 7th is when the ban gets lifted. Yeah. It says your access to go live multi-guest will be restored on September 7th at 4.11 p.m. Okay. Well, there it is. Tell you what, these baby clothes pins come in handy for clamping stuff down. You don't want to dent. And I just so happen to have a bunch of them. Whenever you're having problems with getting something to stick because there's enough uh, spring to the paper, I'm working on the uh, A-10 wing today. And so, um, the paper has just enough spring to it to where the glue won't stick because it's an edge. You're gluing to an edge of paper, not to a big flat piece. And so, you have to have help. That's where these little bitty clothespins come in handy.
and there is a wing that is going to glue together just nicely. I may have to do something different with the other side. It is a uh, very much a, a much tighter uh, bend, and so it may not want to go together at all with these clothespins. I may have to do something different with it. So we'll see. I got to let this completely dry right now. And so what I can do is I can continue to work on bridging this up over here. Um, so what this is becoming is this becomes a solid block of paper glued piece to piece. Oh, Pepsi burp, excuse me. Uh, Kinley, she's over on uh, she's over on YouTube. All right, and Kinsley, listen. Okay, Honey Bunny just told me to check Kinsley is blocked and he's not and shouldn't be muted either. So tell him to come in. So you are allowed to come in. It's on you to get in. But you keep on calling me names like you are right now. I'm sorry, you won't be coming in the show. I look out for you. I take care of you the best that I can, and I do everything that I possibly can for you. And this is the way you're going to treat me through text message? Really, dude? You wonder why you're not allowed on TikTok. There's your reason why. Quit being mean to Bert. Kinley, you're, you're being, you're, you're being mean, and he's, you know, he's not going to take it. So anyway, what I'm doing is, um, adding more pieces to this. You can see the wing, the wings, oh, come on, you, ha, 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 ha. They're detachable, all right? Now, I had to make them that way because if I want to pack this up, I can take the wings off with all the missiles and everything on them and just set them in the box together like that. And so, anyway, what I'm doing is I've got to cut these pieces and they've got to fit around over this and then down onto here. Otherwise, it's not strong enough to hold the wing. I have no idea, Elaine. That's one of those kinly things. Don't know. But Kinley heard Bert. He sure didn't stutter. So, it's kind of up to Kinley if he wants to do the right thing. Yeah, Kinley, you've said that a hundred times. It's crying wolf. Wolf. Kinley, wolf. You can't cry wolf and get any sympathy. And as far as being done with the show, you've told me that a hundred times, young man. Thank you, TK. I, yes. No, Kinley, there's no reason for that. I'm just telling you the, the, the straight up story of it, Kinley. If you, um, 
want to say things, especially to Bert, you know, who helps you and tries to watch out for you. You want to be mean to him and not be nice, and he's just going to do what he wants to do. He's going to ban you or block you or whatever he can do on it's to where you can't talk to him anymore. And I know that's not fair, but it's a just thing to do. So if you're going to be a good young man, uh, then you will be. But if you're going to be mean to Bert for no reason, because you don't need to be mad at Bert. Bert didn't do anything. Then, well, uh, that's nice, Kinley. Thank you very much. But you should be nice to everybody. That's just the way you should be. And so there, there's another piece cut and fit that goes over this wing. Now what I have to do is I have to figure out where I've got to cut it off down here. And so now I have those marks. And so now all I have to do is cut it off just like that. And there is a new piece that goes into here. Oops, wrong side. And now I've put that piece in there. And so it it's it fits good. And now I want to uh, laminate it basically onto the superstructure. Oh that's fantastic, Kinley. Had no idea. So I'd have to say happy grandparents day. Oh, I can imagine so, Elaine. There's a lot of really cool history there, I bet. And so, here we go. Now, this piece is, is glued in. I've got one more to go. And uh, this, um, this block that I'm building uh, for the wings to be mounted onto will be uh, complete. This one's already done over here. I've got one more to do here, and um, then that this one will be uh, finished. I rigged over, rig diver, rig diver. Oh, TK. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Thank you, Kinley, very much. Um, Honey Bunny, Kinley says, Happy Grandparents Day. It'll be next, uh, uh, next Sunday. Oh, really? The third was Father's Day in Australia? AUS, I think that's Australia. Jeez, Elaine, that would be a neat place to go. Oh, that's your gamer account. Oh, that's cool.
All right. Now. Okay, so if I take that and take that up to there and take that one up to there and then go in here like so and cut that out just like that. Now we're going to take this one and go here and take this one and go here. And I'm going to cut these extra pieces off just like that. One there. And one there. Alright, now what I've done is I've created another part. They just cut out specifically to go over that. Uh -huh. Well, isn't that interesting? Oh, VR gaming. Wow. That's cool, TK. Oh, I know, Elaine. Absolutely. Ha! <laughs> wow, that's amazing, TK. Maybe one of these days I'll have uh, the extra spendable money to get me one of those VR sets just to see how it works. Of course, I'll have to have bigger room than a fifth wheel, because <laughs> there's not enough room in a fifth wheel. All right, Elaine, that's cool. All right, Kenley, take care. Have a good night. I've been to uh, I've been to a few museums, yes. Natural history, air and space. Um, 
I went to the Science Center once uh, during the 1962 World's Fair and was absolutely in love with the science. It's kind of like a museum, sort of. They all kinds of old stuff that they had there. It's been a while since I've been to one. I would like to go back to the Air and Space Museum soon, though. Oh, really, TK? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, TK, whenever we get access back, when we figure out what's wrong with it, Mike isn't able to get access into YouTube. Um, we'll get me. We'll make you a mod here on YouTube also. Yeah, it's gonna take a minute to figure that out. I've got. I've got to. I've got to. I don't know what's wrong. I don't well, no, understand. We checked it. We double checked it. <laughs> uh, I know. And the thing is, I wrote that information down very gingerly. I took really good notes and it shouldn't be wrong. Oh, that's fine, TK. <laughs> I, I get it. <laughs> yes, it, it's it's a tough situation. I have great patience and uh, it tries mine at times. Yes, Kinley, I'll be on the show tomorrow. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, now why are those, why are those dished in like that? I have no idea. No, I just, no, don't want mashed potatoes. Yeah, don't mess up her mashed potatoes, whatever you do. She's cooking, she's cooking pork chops and mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. Oh, that's good. Wonderful news. He wants to keep changing that on me. She only eats whenever she's off of work. That's okay. Well, everybody needed to know. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> I got to see the King Tut exhibit. That was came that came to Seattle a long time ago. So yeah, I got to see that. That's amazing stuff. All right. BW. How you doing? You've been here before. I recognize your orange dot. Uh oh, I scared him up. Oh, he's back. <laughs> well, uh, and that's Brooks. Hi, Brooks. Nice to see you. I am working on an A10. That's what I'm doing right now. Is I'm, I'm bridging all this in here so that when I put the wings on, because uh, the wings, uh, I want the wings to be removable. So that means I got to build this thing so that it's super tough. 
How you doing, Brooks? It's been a minute since I seen you in here. Uh, that's okay, Brooks. <laughs> I'm trying to get life to work. Woohoo! <laughs> Sometimes it's a pain in the backside. Oh, I'm just going to add it to my collection. Uh, you know, with stuff like my Ad At Walker. I just got done building this uh, this week uh, uh, so that my Ad At would stand up. It tends to want to fall over uh, because. Paper joints, uh, after a few years, don't do well unless they're finger joints. I didn't know that when I built this ad at And so the ad at Walker needed assistance. So I built this uh, really cool platform for it as a stand. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> um, I teach people on YouTube. Uh, how to build with paper toys and that's what I'm doing this is the start of an A10 Warthog this is an A10 micro machine that I'm working on it's almost done I got to get the weaponry on it and get the paint on it and so this is what I teach I didn't want the wing to be weak and so I took straight pins and I drilled this and put straight pins in like nails um, same way with over here on the sides. I did that here as well. Uh, no, this, this is the first time I've actually made an aircraft. Uh, the only other one that I have is the, um, where is it? I don't know where it is. Uh, it's got to be back there somewhere. I built the SR-71 Blackbird uh, from the X-Men. And so... <clears throat> as far as military aircraft goes, this is my first attempt other than the SR-71. I've done a lot of stuff with Star Wars, like snow speeders and things. Uh, so, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, but I do other stuff too. I mean, here's an SD, uh, super deformed, Zeku Gundam. So I'm kind of branching out better. It, yeah, it is. It is. And so, and the nice thing is, uh, the wings are retractable. Uh, I mean, removable. And uh, here is the wing on the other side. I had to glue this edge down. Now, this is where these little bitty um, clothes pins work really good at, at not putting dents in your paper. Because this stuff, these guys here, these guys will dent your paper. Uh, these will not. And so anyway, now I have this wing. And it goes on over here. That's what I'm working on right now. Got to glue this up yet. And so, what I've been working on when this was drying was uh, the mount for this. And you see that shape? All right. I cut this paper out to fit this shape so that when you slide this thing on, it, it locks in place. Um, very tough. This is very tough. This, these toys that I make and teach you how to make, you should be able to pass down to your great, great, great grandkids. Because if they break their paper, you just glue them back together. Easy stuff. PVA glue in Europe or Elmer's here in the States. And uh, the paint jobs that I put on these, like this one, it's all acrylic paint, water base. I got these. I got these acrylic paints. I've had to fill this one, and I've had to fill this one, and I put the blue in here. All right. I got these in 2010. They get a little bit dried up. I just add water to them, shake them up. Acrylic paint goes a long ways, lasts a long time, and it basically doesn't die. You just add some water to it. 
and so I have one of the cheapest hobbies on the planet all right everything I build with is recycled paper out of my kitchen Oop. cereal boxes soda boxes cracker boxes this is just a piece of this is the backing of a, a, a table calendar so it, it's a it's an economical hobby it's probably the cheapest hobby on the planet and uh, with things going the way they're going right now and all these fools talking about World War three you need a cheap hobby <laughs> you really do and so anyone over here on clapper that wants to learn how to do this go to my YouTube site the paper engineer you can learn how to do this but please whatever you do start with micro machines if you make a mistake on a micro machine it's a micro mistake you can fix it it's easy you make a mistake on one of these not so easy to fix and cheers everyone I'm the old Pepsi generation <laughs> I want to start a new one Well, there's eight more minutes of the show, you guys, and I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I'll have a live uh, again at noon Pacific Standard Time. And it's it's almost five o'clock here. I start at four o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So one hour ahead of wherever you are right now is when I'll start tomorrow. Six forty-three, all right, and it's um, it's four forty-three here. So, which is five o'clock, and it's seven o'clock. So you're back in the Midwest somewhere, uh, I would say. That's cool, Brooks. I'm in Washington State, Arkansas. All right, <laughs> yeah, nice. I've seen a lot of documentaries uh, in Arkansas and, and the Appalachian area, I guess that would be, I don't know, Arkansas. I don't know if that's close to Appalachia or not, but uh, very, 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 very cool. Good people, too. Yes. Absolutely, and I love the mountains too. I'm, you know, I was born and raised here in Washington State, and uh, we got the mountains. They're just an hour that way. All right, Brooks, thank you for coming to my phone show. I'll be back tomorrow. I've been doing this now two years straight. And so I love visiting with people all over the world. So take care, Brooks. Thank you very much for stopping by. And thank you for talking to me. Okay, Kinley. Bert, Kinley says he apologized to you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I told myself that. Okay. All right, Brooks. Cool. <laughs> the 900th time. Uh, yeah, Elaine, um, yes, I am getting more, um, 
more people on Clapper that are talking. And so that's a that's a good thing. We've been trying to get them to, to talk now since I started Clapper. And so, uh, and I don't know uh, particularly why they don't talk as much on Clapper as they do on TikTok and stuff, but I haven't been on Clapper for two years. And so who knows? With, with two years from now, there might be a lot more folks on Clapper willing to talk. Okay. So. <clears throat> but we shall see. Because I plan on being around for a while. That is like, wow. I should have I should have paid more attention to these parts. Hmm. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Found it, coach. Yes, Kinley, it is. Thank you, TK. And yeah, yeah, I, I understand that. Uh, so who knows? Maybe I can get it all figured out, I hope. Uh, thank you, Kinley, very much. Uh, that's a good idea, Elaine. Might have to do that, I guess. Um, well, I don't know, Kinley, I don't know what day my birthday is on. If my birthday falls on a Monday, uh, or Tuesday or something like that, yes, I'll do a live on my birthday. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All righty. 
Yeah, then I'll be live, Kinley. Oh yeah, TK. <laughs> I'm banned again. <laughs> yeah, I don't get back until the seventh. Uh, Bert filled you in on that one. Oh yeah, yeah, TK. That's tough. I don't know. Nobody knows. They just uh, don't like me. <laughs> My wife thinks that uh, um, somebody's at TikTok's got it out for me. <laughs> I don't think so, but you never know. Not for sure, anyway. Yeah, Kinley, I'll be live on Clapper tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I know, TK. I try not to do any hate speech. You know, it's not good for people, including me. Hate speech does nothing. It just creates animosity and uh, ugliness, and I don't particularly uh, care for that. I forgot how many pieces of paper I put on this. <laughs> and now I'm trying to figure it out. It's tough. I don't know how to figure it out. I, you can't, you really can't tell when they're glued together like that. I think it's three layers. Ah, oh, boy. Anyway. <laughs> right now. Oh, the show's over? Doggone it. <laughs> I'm past. Well, everybody, thank you very much for joining the show. I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for another live show. And if that's too late for you, I do one at noon Pacific Standard Time. It's my first show. Uh, so five hours earlier than it is right now, uh, tomorrow will be my first show. So, uh, Clapper Rights, take care. Thank you very much for coming. I'll be back tomorrow. And maybe if I can get out of here. Okay, that's over with. All right, YouTubers. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is YouTube. <laughs> I get confused where I'm at. Uh, yep, denied both appeals. Yep. Yeah, uh, TK, I've been working on this a long time. So is Bert, Viola, and, and Kimberly. And so, it's one of those kind of things that, oh my God, really? And uh, we looked at all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. He sent me five diamonds. Eh, very cool. <laughs> at least it's, uh, you know, a two cents. <laughs> and so anyway um it, it there's no rhyme to reason to, to none of it hateful speech there was no hateful speech none and so and since tiktok won't talk uh, to us we have no way of really knowing anyway you guys take care i'll be back tomorrow live show two of them so i love you a lot Thanks for being good human beings. Take care, everyone. Good night.